Hola, my name is Dennis O'Sullivan and I'm coming to you from Vélez Malaga in the south of Spain. Last December I moved from Ireland to Spain to finish a book that I've been working on for the last 12 years. I stayed in Malaga for the Christmas and then in the new year I went looking for a new place to live. So then I found a home here in Cruz del Cordero and uh, with the new school of music and dance being built across the road. Good omen. I've been a guitarist for more than 50 years and Velas Malaga is in the heart of Andalusia which is the home of flamenco. Velas Malaga is the birthplace of Juan Breva. Born in 1844, he was highly influential in the advancement of flamenco. He performed for the king and was instrumental in bringing flamenco music into the mainstream. He was both a singer and a guitar player, and this statue commemorates him. Each region of Spain has its own style of flamenco, and in Vélez Malaga, the local style can be found in a venue called Flamenco Abierto. Here is some video I filmed there recently. Thank you to Sabrina, Miguel and Ruben for their wonderful performances. Then I came here to this shop, Arsonera. I met this guy, Alex, Hi, and I bought this guitar. That guitar is made in Valencia. It's a good sound. Good sound guitar. Paco Castillo. Yeah. Could you say something about Juan Breva? We have his statue over there and that guy was the first guy that plays and singing at the same time in the history of flamenco. Wow. The first. Then Alex put me in touch with this guy, Daniel Santa Cruz, a brilliant guitarist and a wonderful teacher. Daniel agreed to take me on as a student and this photograph was taken at my first lesson on the 2nd of February. So I was all fired up and over the next six months I got into a routine of writing and practicing and writing and practicing writing practicing after a month I had reached this stage Much more to Velas Malaga than just the flamenco scene. For example, Semana Santa, or Easter week, um, was celebrated with amazing processions. Here are a few clips I filmed during that week.
town celebrated Legado de Reyes. you heard at the beginning. A wonderful tradition being passed on from father to son. This is Eduardo and his son Eduardo and this is a wonderful tradition that I filmed. and how life can take us on unexpected diversions. I was walking through the town one morning on my way home after my Flamenco Friday lesson and uh, I heard the most beautiful music wafting through the air and when I investigated, I met this couple. A wonderfully talented couple from Poland called BB and JJ, Jan and Laura. They were just about to release an album and I suggested we make a video together, which we did. On the 2nd of August, I hit the six month mark, exactly to the day. And I recorded this um, Haleo in Daniel's studio.
Okay, so I've kept the best to last. This is Daniel performing one of his pieces. This is incredible. I've watched it a hundred times at least already and it's amazing. So without any further ado, I give you Daniel Santa Cruz with Granaida. <laughs> Okay, so that brings us to the end of my video, Six Months of Flamenco and Vélez Malaga. I'm extremely grateful to Alex, Daniel, Sabrina, Ruben, Miguel, and to Eduardo and Eduardo, and to everybody in Vélez Malaga for the most amazing experience of my life, I have to say. It's just been incredible. And in amongst all of this, I managed to finish my book. And that will be available for sale on din.ie from the 21st of September. To all my family and friends back home on the home turf, I love you and I miss you all and uh, come on over, the water's lovely. So don't forget, din.ie, 21st of September, new ebook out. Adios. <laughs>